So we are back live at Pivotal uh, with the team behind uh, the conference today, Lyle and Chris. Uh, guys, how are you feeling? How's it gone so far? Fantastic. It's been an absolutely great day. Yeah, the really great feedback from, from everyone that's been involved and all the delegates as far as I can see and panels really full. So Super yeah, absolutely fantastic. And we've got the showcases this evening, so it's not over yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, when this idea crystallised for you two and the ideas behind Pivotal? Um, so, well, because obviously I run a networking night here in, in Birmingham anyway for Music Managers Forum. It's kind of been bubbling away in my head for about a, about a year. Uh, and then started chatting to Lyle back in March, I think it was. This, of this year? But yeah. We were talking on and off about the, idea. the things that need to be done in, in Birmingham or, or the, the gaps that could be filled. And, uh, yeah, you rolled pretty quickly from that point on, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but sort of got it going in March and then June announcement and then yeah obviously today actually launched i think the the um the response from industry from the city from from the music community within the city uh it's been overwhelming it demonstrates the need for an event like pivotal um and all indications are you know this this is this event can only expand and develop and grow and serve the purposes which are to to encourage further growth and share ideas and investment and, and so on Obviously, you've had a huge number of panels running today. Uh, some of the rooms, like I've been in, absolutely packed out as well, uh, which is great to see. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the people who are involved in Pivotal, some of the people who have spoken as well? And yeah, as well, from an industry perspective, we've been lucky enough to have um, AIM, so the o Association of Independent Music, who represent a lot of the labels. The BPI have been involved. It's very similar as well. Um, but the likes of Centric Music, um, Believe, Distribution, um, CD Baby, Rota Videos, yeah, The Ticket Fairy. We've had some absolutely a, a good incredible. Cross section, I think. Yeah. Um, for, for, I mean, it's it's difficult because we, uh, for, for the first year of any event, it's always uh, an unknown. But the response and, and the interest, as I said, the interest from these industry bodies and these businesses really demonstrates a need, a demand for it, and, and they're all happy, which is the main thing. And and yeah. our delegates are. Our attendees are so um, as far as the Birmingham Music Coalition panels um, that was really about bringing together uh, panels of like-minded people who can it's not about um, just running through uh, cliches and, and, and um, you know paying lip service to, to the issues that are facing the city it is about tackling uh, some of those challenges and finding routes through them finding ways out finding positive ways to affect positive change so um, really grateful for everybody who came came through and and, um, and spoke on those panels and everybody who participated in the conversations um, it's really uh, the, you know the salient points that have come out of today um, some fantastic uh, ingredients for next year and on that point um, I think uh, like the energy that I've certainly witnessed today the the, the will to actually move Birmingham forward and uh, you know make uh, things better for all the delegates that have been involved. You've mentioned the Birmingham Music Coalition. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, certainly. It's a, a new music industry body that um, is, is basically a uh, main aim is to encourage further growth within the industry. But it's also to represent those who, who already um, contribute to the cultural fabric of not just Birmingham, but the region. I think it's important to, to, to include both the East and West Midlands in that. Um, we need to influence policy, we need to encourage investment from all of those businesses and industry bodies that are here today. We want them to go away and really consider what moves and what, um, uh, what uh, they can do within their, their own structures to, um, to improve and to, to help support the industry that's, that's here. And obviously both of you guys are deeply embedded within the music scene, the local music scene here in Birmingham. Uh, I mean, can you tell me your thoughts about Birmingham as a music city at the moment? I think there's so much potential. I'm really excited by the creativity uh, that exists in the city. Um, and I think it's just about connecting that up. I think the thing that Birmingham has lacked maybe is a bit of an infrastructure and a network, which hopefully the coalition will provide as well as obviously more investment from uh, those services. But obviously some of the comments from delegates who've come up from London and the likes have kind of gone, I never expected to see this kind of talent in the Midlands or in Birmingham. So to hear that, those kind of things is, yes, it's partly frustrating, but also is really exciting to see that they are discovering that new talent. Um, so yeah, I, I think Birmingham is on the cusp of something. 
and I'm really excited to keep helping drive that forward. Um, what's next for you guys? Obviously, today's the first of the <laughs> today's the uh, the first um, conference of its type in Birmingham for for quite some time, I think, if if ever. Um, what's next for you guys? What do you where do you want to go with this? Um, well, so um, for me, pivotal. Uh, we'll continue running stuff throughout the year. We'll, there'll be master classes and networking uh, as much as there already has been, um, but increased rate of that. Um, please, I guess, look at the Pivotal page on Monday because there will be an announcement on Monday about what our plans are moving forwards. Um, but safe to say Pivotal will be back and we will be back hopefully at some point next year. Um, we've already got a number of the partners showing very exciting interest to come back on board. Well. If, I, if I could add to that as well, that you know, it's it, it's year one and capacity was, <coughs> had, obviously it's it's restricted to a certain point for that first year, and there are lots of other creatives uh, working across the industry that um, really have to be part of this journey, both the pivotal journey and the Birmingham Music Coalition journey. Um, their their voices need to to um, to be part of of the overall conversation, and. Um, God, it, it's, I mean, we're sitting here in a, in a windy jewellery quarter um, <laughs> uh, beer garden, but, but genuinely, it's been a really exciting day, and, it, and it's, it's difficult not to get your hopes up for something like this, because there is a lot riding on it. It is the first uh, major event of its kind in Birmingham for a long time. There are some, some industry heavyweights here, and, you know, it's, it's been a success. And that's absolutely great. And, you know, just look forward to the next one. Right, and as far as the rest of the evening goes, is there anyone that you're particularly looking forward to seeing or anything like that? Uh, really good question. Well, I can, I, I've got a couple of acts anyway of my own showcasing, which is amazing. And I'm uh, really Jackson, excited. Jackson so I've got, Nat <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got Natalie Holmes and Speak Brother showcasing over at the Actress and Bishop. Um, but actually, I'm really excited to catch out catch some of the electronic showcase. Yep. Uh, I think the Earth is Flat are playing um, here, so uh, a duo, really atmospheric, um, a mix of sound fan, uh, fan sounds and um, uh, layered kind of arrangements over, uh, uh, over the top. Um, and that's in partnership with uh, listening sessions, voyage events, and the unspeakable. And then over at the uh, RJJZs, uh, we've got Lady Sanity and Juta Lean headlining and, and seven other artists. It's quite a packed bill. Um, the perfect end to what has been a really great day. Yeah, absolutely. Pleasure to talk to you guys. Thanks for your time. Good luck with the rest of the night. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank Cheers. You very much. Thank you.